Shabbat Shalom. Happy Sabbath. Okay, people of God, if you are a teacher and you are led to teach the truth of Yahweh, Elohim, who are in heaven, and you are here to teach to the vast majority of the world of Satan, Revelation 12, 9, Satan has deceived the whole world. John 8, 44, Satan is their father. Those who don't believe, those who are not saved yet. We have to be careful throughout our calling. We are set apart in this wickedness for a reason. We tend to uh, latch on to those who we develop care for. Who we develop love for. We help them. We want them to be saved. We want them to get the mysteries. We want them to gain spiritual knowledge. We want them to unlearn lies of the world of Satan. We want them to be free through Yeshua HaMashiach from Satan, who is their father, John 8, 44. People, I want to let you all know from experience, the reason why we are set apart is because God wants us to himself individually for right now. We are worked on as individuals doing different services for one purpose. Then, after Yeshua's Hamashiach return, we will all come together as one big church, one big family, joining together in the kingdom to come as our new home, meaning then born again. I want to let you all know, as true chosen ones out here separated from your, your blood relatives and other people, be careful because you are not meant to latch on to others. These people are not part of the true church yet. And what can happen is we can fall away slowly from God's purpose for us. For our, our service can be deteriorated once we latch on to people of the world. These folk are not chosen yet. Okay? And so what happens is when we tend to do that because we are loving people. When we do that. God will intervene and he will throw a spoke in there. He would throw a wrench in there to discombobulate this so-called relationship between you, between I and the people of the world who we've latched on to because we are caring people. This is the reason why he has removed us away from relatives. Hallelujah. This is the reason for the most why we are not in relationships. We are apart. We are alone, separated for a reason, for his reason. This is not saying to be mean to people. This is not saying to not want to uh, help people. But when we tend to develop a personal relationship, and we're not talking about Ferns being sexual and intimate. No, not that type of closeness. But developing a bond with people. We are not here to do that. I know it may sound confusing. We are here to love people. But we cannot develop a personal bond with people. We cannot do that. And he would throw something in there. And he will harden that person's heart because they're not saved. So they will be easily to give us a reason by him hardening their heart to uh, give us that, okay, I get it, God. That's not it. See what I'm saying? It may not, 
be that this person just don't want the blessing and uh, they just feel, oh, I just, I'm just going to all of a sudden in the snap of a finger be rude and disrespectful to the called out one. Uh, to someone who loved me, to someone who never disrespected, someone who's been helping me. No, this person develop or them people develop a heart and heart out of nowhere because God has allowed that to be. See, Satan is already in the realm of these people because they're not yet saved. Y'all, we, we're not talking about specific wicked people. I want y'all to know that it's a difference between unbelievers and wicked people. Those who are unbelievers are those who don't understand the spiritual truth yet. The wicked are just those who just are willing to be evil and do people wrong. Unbelievers are those who are not yet chosen. So they lack spiritual knowledge, which meaning that they are easily led into temptation to do, say things uh, against the anointing is what I'm saying. So God will intervene and he will harden their hearts or he would throw something in there for them to reflect back on us in a negative way. So we can then have the courage to say, okay, boom, we can't have this closeness no more and this, I'm going too far. And so I have to know that this is what's going on and I have to withdraw from people, places, and things. I have to withdraw. It's not because I'm doing nothing wrong. It's just that he does this to prevent me from doing wrong. Because we can go so far that we will be led astray. Satan would pull us in slowly for surely. And then next thing you know, we're off in too deep with people of the world. Those who are not yet Say, so now people, I want you all to know people of God It's it's people out there that ha that has not yet gained the spiritual truth of the gospel. We still have to bear with people and at the, at the same time have understanding on why people are not yet really at our level of spirituality with the knowledge. They're not yet. They're not there yet. Be careful. Be careful with the smiles. Be careful with the, the comments, the replies, the phone calls, the emails. Be careful with these certain kindness of people. You can tell that these people are not yet delivered by certain conversations and certain teachings. Their replies from the teachers, you can tell that they're not yet delivered. So you already know yet to keep it a distance because you don't want them to corrupt your calling. You don't want things to happen on your end negative because then you will have to go repent and apologize. But like I said, if everything is peaceful on your end and of truth with boldness, 100% truth. Stand firm with that. If the other person who are not yet saved come off negative, disrespectful, disrespecting God and, and the Holy Spirit, just cut them off. Let God deal with that. Let God deal with it. Don't try to fix it. Just let it go. When you do that, people, you will have this extraordinary peace about yourself. Hallelujah. We may not want to do these things at times with certain people, places, and things. But we have to be careful because Satan is tricky. He comes off subtly. So we have to be careful. These people are not yet saved. And we are still set apart until the new kingdom come. We have to be careful. Don't treat them bad. Just treat them with distance. Pray for them. Teach. And that's it. Help if you're led to. But when it comes to another level, when you feel that Satan is, is getting in the midst of it and things is getting a little extra and negative, then you have to cut your service off from them. 
When you do that, you will have this extraordinary peace, meaning that that was the right thing to do. You don't feel bad. You don't feel guilty. It's their loss. Everything happens for a reason during a season. Now, also, I want to throw in it before I click off. I want you all to learn to start eating well, not just for your body, but for your mind. When you pick up your fork or spoon, before you put in your food in your mouth, you want to know that this is a feel-good moment because what I'm about to eat is going to do my body well. Huh? It's going to do my body well. Even if the food is not tasted to the acquiring of what I want it to be because it's natural. You know that you're eating that spinach that's unseasoned for the good of your body. For the good of your mind. People, don't be afraid to eat good. And I'm not saying chow down eating steaks and eggs and potato. I'm not saying that type of good eating. I'm talking about raw vegetables sauteed vegetables, fruits, even cooked fruits like bananas, sauteed pineapples. Learn how to drink majority for, for the days of your life water, fresh, good water, juice without sugar, like green juice, fix your own juice or whatnot. I want you all to learn how to flush your body. Drink prune juice. Drink you some cucumber water. Flush yourselves. It's okay today to do that. When you do these things, you have peace in yourself and around yourself. You're flushing out garbage. You will feel and look better. Huh? When you deal with people of the world and you flush them out, letting them go, you will feel good about your surroundings. You're not dealing with negative people. You're not dealing with negative vibes. You're not eating negative foods that's going to hurt your body, that's going to hurt your mind, that's going to bloat you, that's going to gas you, that's going to give you headaches, that's going to make you dizzy, that's going to make you feel guilty, that's going to make you feel fat and look fat. You want to eat right and you want to live right you want positive people in your life and then you want to let go of the negative people in your life anoint to ones listen choosing people in your life is not your choice it's god's decision not ours by the end of the day before yeshua's second coming remember remember we are right now meant to be separated huh it may mean that you need to be physically alone with God Almighty for right now. I'm telling you, don't make friends and think that this is what it's supposed to be between you and him and her. It's meant for us to be separated from people alone with God Almighty so he can teach and guide us and protect us from these people of the world. We can help. That's what we're here to do, and we can teach, but that's it. Anything other than that, we got to be careful, or we're going to have to make some decisions that we don't want to make. But we're going to have to make that sacrifice to please God. By the end of the day, you want to keep your crown. You want to keep peace within yourself. We are chosen. They are not. I love y'all. Keep peace within yourselves. Cut off the shenanigan. Shalom.